This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Maize is a versatile crop growing across a broad range of agroecological zones. In Ghana, it is grown in the forest, transition, southern regions, upper west, upper east and northern regions of Ghana. Every part of the maize plant has economic value. The grain, leaves, stalk, tassel and cob can all be used to produce a large variety of food and non-food products. The agronomy of maize. Always note these key steps. Soil testing, site selection, land preparation, choice of seed, method of planting, growth stages, weed control, fertilizer application, plant disease control, then finally harvesting. Soil testing. It's important to advise the farmers to test soil before planting. In soil testing, you will need an orgy or a catalyst to dig out 20 centimeters deep into the soil. Farmers can measure 20 centimeters from the tip of their fingers to the wrist of an adult hand. Note that samples should be taken in a zigzag pattern over the whole area on the field in order to get a good sample. Remember to pick out debris from your sample and pour it into an envelope. Give your details on the envelope example, your full name, land size and the crop you want to grow. Take a sample of your soil to the Soil Research Institute or the District Agriculture Office to be analyzed. This enables you to find out the makeup of the soil and help you formulate a fertilization program for maximum yields. Step 2. Site Selection Maize adapt well to different soil types. High yields are obtained from maize planted on deep, fine-structured, well-aerated, well-drained loamy soil that are rich in organic matter. Maize can be grown on a wide variety of soils, but performs best on well-drained, well-aerated, deep warm loams and silt loams containing adequate organic matter and well supplied with available nutrients. Maize does not perform well in waterlogged soils, therefore all sites prone to waterlogged should be avoided. Avoid sites with trees, ant hills, shady areas, hard pans, compacted soils, muddy and clay soils for good yields. Step 3. Land Preparation The soil should be kept free from weeds by manual weeding or spraying as required. Land for maize production can be prepared manually or mechanically depending on the cropping history of the field. For fallowed land, slash and burn cat vegetation. If grassy weed are a problem, the weeds should be killed by spraying with glyphosate. Example, round up at recommended rate of seven days before plowing. To reduce erosion on sloping fields, plowing should be done across the slope rather than up and down the slope. Note, avoid burning because the decaying weeds and crop residues act as a mulch for the maize crop. Step 4. Seed Selection Use certified seeds bought from agro-dealers. It is important to test the germination and vigor of your planting seed before sowing. It's important for farmers to test their seeds before planting to prevent problems arising from poor stand. Count 100 seeds. Plant them in shallow trenches about 5 cm deep and 1 or 2 meters long. Cover with 3 cm of soil. Water well for one week but do not wet the soil. Count the number of seedlings that emerge at the end of the week. If above 90 seeds germinate, go ahead and plant your seed on your field.
there are different varieties available for the farmers. Step 5. Planting. There are three major considerations to be taken into account. When to plant, depth of planting, plant population. Planting can be done either mechanically or manually by hand. Planting is generally recommended to be done at the onset of rain. But since Pioneer Hybrid Maize is a drought resistant, Dry planting can be done when rain is expected. Depth of planting. Planting and basal fertilizer application is recommended at the same time. The depth of planting should be 5 cm deep and fertilizer is 10 cm deep respectively. Deep seed placement under dry planting is recommended so that seed germinates only after adequate rains have fallen. A measuring tape is used to mark 25 centimeters or 40 centimeters depending on maize variety along a measuring line. Fertilizer application. The compound fertilizer commonly used are NPK 151515 or NPK 161616. Apply five bags of the 50 kilogram compound fertilizer 10 to 14 days after planting and top dress with two and half bag of sulfate of ammonia or one and half bag of urea per hectare. Dibble and bury all fertilizers. Apply a basal fertilizer of 20 grams of nitrogen in bands next to seed at 10 centimeters deep at planting. Nitrogen. Apply approximately 35 to 50 kilos per acre or 125 kilos per hectare, one third at planting stage and two thirds as top dressing during three to four weeks after planting. Phosphorus. Apply most at planting at a rate of 35 kilos per acre or 85 kilos per hectare. Potassium. Apply most at planting at a rate of 35 kilos per acre or 85 kilos per hectare. Step 7. Weed control. Weeds compete with the maize plant for water, nutrients, space and light. The early stage of a maize plant that is first three weeks is very sensitive to weed competition. Methods of weed control. Crop rotation. Rotation of maize with leguminous crops such as cowpea and granules will help reduce striker in the fields. Proper spacing. If crops are planted at recommended spacing of 25 centimeters or 40 centimeters between rows depending on variety and 75 centimeters or 80 centimeters or 90 centimeters between rows, depending on variety, the plants cover the ground quickly, reducing the need for weeding. To ensure good yields, weed-free conditions should be maintained until flowering to minimize the risk of moisture stress at this critical stage. Timely planting. Maize planted at the right time has vigorous growth and could be well established before the growth of weeds. The seeds should be planted at the earliest opportunity so that they can establish before weeds develop. Hoeing and hand pooling. Hoeing is a weed control method commonly used by small scale farmers. This is commonly followed by hand weeding to remove the weeds that will establish after hoeing. Improving soil fertility. Application of fertilizers or adopting any other soil fertility improvement practice such as using poultry manure will enable the maize plants to have quick and vigorous growth which will cover the ground and suppress weeds at an early stage. Goat seed.
Planting must be done with improved seeds of good quality, such as pioneer seeds that are free from weeds. It is always advisable to use treated seed bought from a recognized agrochemical shop. Mechanical methods. This involves the use of simple farm tools and implements such as holes and catalysts in controlling weeds. Weeding should be done twice or three times and must start as early as possible because a young maize plant is very sensitive to weed competition. Chemical methods. This method of weed control makes use of herbicides. The most commonly used herbicide for maize is atrazine. Herbicides that contain active ingredients such as nicosulfuron and 2,4-D should not be used in weed control with the Pioneer hybrids. If there is a need to use, it should be done at a maximum of two weeks after planting. Step 8. Plant Disease Control Visit your cornfield regularly. Immediately remove maize plants that manifest symptoms of diseases such as leaf blight and stalk and stem rot. Leaf diseases. Always remember to visit your district agricultural department for expert advice on the pests and diseases affecting your crop. Step 9. Harvesting. Maize is harvested when it reaches physiological maturity black layer. Traditionally, when maize cobs have dried down and it is time for harvest, the cobs are hand-picked, hand-shelled and dried in the sun. This is very labor-intensive, which has a significant impact on the gross margin for maize. Another option is to machine harvest when moisture levels drop below 18% to 24% and then dry down to below 14% for delivery or storage. Harvesting can be done with a machine called combined harvester or by hand. After threshing, the maize kernels are dried in the sun either on mats, plastic tarpaulins, or on a cement pad until the moisture content is below 10% when the kernels are ready for sale. One sign that the maize is dried is Take a grain and bite it. If it is hard, then it is dry. During the drying process, the kernels are raked across the pad to ensure even drying. The moisture level in maize must remain below 10% if the maize is stored for long periods. Otherwise, a flactosin may develop, producing side effects for consumers of the grain. Harvested maize ears. Normal ear on well-fertilized high-producing maize weighs about 300 grams. It has well-filled tips. Big ears weighing up to 500 grams indicate that plant population was too small for most profitable yields. Small ears usually are a sign of low fertility. For better yields, boost fertilizer application. Potash shortage shows up in ears with poorly filled tips and loose shafi kernels. Phosphate shortages interfere with pollination and kernel feel. Ears are small, often are twisted and with undeveloped kernels. Nitrogen is essential throughout the growing season. If plant runs out of nitrogen at critical time, ears are small and protein content is low. Kernels at tip do not feel. Green silks at maturity may be caused by too much nitrogen in relation to other elements. Dry weather slow silking behind tasseling. Kernels aren't pollinated. Guide to nutrient deficiency symptoms. Healthy leaves shine with a rich dark green color when adequately fed. Phosphate shortage marks leaves with reddish purple, particularly on young plants. Potash deficiency appears as a firing or drying along the tips and edges of lowest leaves. Nitrogen hunger sign is a yellowing that starts at tip and moves along middle of leaf. Magnesium deficiency causes whiter strips along the veins and often a purplish color on the underside of the lower leaves. 
Drought causes the maize to have a grayish green color and the leaves roll up nearly to the size of a pencil. Disease Helminthosporium blight starts in small spots, gradually spreads across leaf. Chemicals may sometimes burn tips, edges of leaves and at other contact. Tissue dies, leaf becomes white cap.